time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to follow my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. And it's time to get this ratchet video started. On season 20 episode 12 and it's the Krishna's lessons for Arjun and we're still going over because I mean we last left off you know they're about to start the war Krishna about to blow the conch then Arjun's like stop stop I, I gotta like he, he's like I gotta crap questions he's he's like questioning everything and questioning himself so I know Krishna's just giving Arjun lessons that was the last one give him lessons so this one I guess or it lightens them, right? So this one's continuing the lessons, and I'm ready to I'm ready to get it started. I'm like, let sh teach me everything, Krishna, Lord Krishna, teach me everything. And again, he's he's teaching his lessons, but question, you know, asking questions to get you to think. And he's asking, he's like, Arjun, what's what are we made of? What is the birds? What is this? What is that made of? What are humans made of? How do we die? And Arjun, I mean, he had some good answers. <laughs> he was like. Our, our bodies are made of dirt. That's our bodies. I was like, yeah, because we, like, what is it? Like, we return to ashes kind of after we die and stuff. So our bodies do it. And so our bodies is like dirt. the blood that runs through us is like the water and, and the fire inside us. That gives us the energy. And he even goes on. He was like, what did he say? He was like, I wrote it down here. Oh, he was like, in, in our, the blank space, the voids in us, that space. space. So he's like, we're made up of like five bases dirt wind earth fire and space and krishna i think krishna was like impressed he was like yeah he's he he was like look at look at you you're made up of these things look at your brothers they're made up of these things he's like but even over there look at your enemies good or bad you know your your friends or foes we're all made up of the same thing we're all the same but then he's like but we're all we're 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 more than that. <laughs> you know, we're all the same. He's saying, but we're more than that. We have, you know, our bodies aren't our our personalities. Our bodies don't form the, the our relationships. So he's just saying our bodies is like this vessel for I guess like our soul, right? And it's basically our soul which makes us. Up. Then they kind of get into like what a person is made of. Like I call it a soul, right? What the soul is made of. And then that's when Krishna's like, it's three things. <laughs> that's when he's like, it's these three things. Well, person is made up of their behavior. All right. Their nature and their deeds. I'm like, I can see that. The things they do, the way their personality, the way they act and, you know, their behavior and their nature, like how they're influenced about their surroundings, right? So this is when I started had to write stuff down because then he was like, the three things with the nature and the deeds is called what? The three gunas of nature. So I was right and I was like, what the, what's the gunas? Tamas. He's like, that means darkness. I was like, oh, that one's bad. <laughs> that one's bad. That's when he says is, is rajas. And that's like not good or bad. That's just, what did he use the example? He was like, rajas is just kind of like birds. Birds flying around, just do on instinct you know, doing what they need to do, flying south for the winter, north or north for the summer, you know, you know, surviving, doing their part. So that's Rogers. You just you just go not thinking, right? That's what Rogers is. And then the last he says is sattva. It means knowledge. It means right, you always think before you act. You're always taking consideration what's right, what's like just and 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 think of those things before you act. So I like too that he even went on to like talk about each person, right? He was like, look at the mean prince. What do you think the mean prince over there? I was like, darkness. <laughs> I was like, mean prince, darkness. And he did, he was like, he has Tomas. He has like the arrogance, right? He went on to say like, like Tomas is just arrogance. Like, you know, Tomas, you have the knowledge. You know what's right or wrong. Not like Rahas when you kind of don't know, you just go blindly and do whatever. You know what's right or wrong and you still pick the, the wrong thing. I was like, that's the mean prince. That's the mean prince. Did say it like he give you know, you know everybody has that little uh, part in him. He's like he even and he has some rajas. He has some stuff like he don't know better. He don't know right or wrong in those situations. 
And then they asked for the brother. You know I talked about this brother. I was like, this brother can't think for his own. I've said this before. I was calling out this brother's, the gunas, the gunas, the three gunas. I called it from the beginning. I was like, that brother's totally rajas. He don't even think for himself. He just over there doing, you remember that one? I was showing his little clips just how he does and just doing whatever his older brother says. He's totally Raha. And then he was like, do Bishma. Bishma's turn. I was like, let's do everybody. That's how I was. I was like, let's do everybody. What's Bishma? And and then Krishna, what, was it Krishna? Yeah, Krishna's like, well, he's got the sattva. I was like, yeah, Bishma's got the light and knowledge. He's always, you know, wanting to do the right thing. What he thinks is right. Thinks, all right, before he does it, is this right? You know, what? what, what he always thinks it through. But what Krishna always said he has like the Thomas. And I was like, I can see it. I can see it because that's when you don't have the knowledge. You lack the knowledge of the things. And that's kind of how Bhishma is. He just goes by these old traditions. Sticking to his oath no matter what. Even if it's wrong. Like Karn. Sticking to his oath of friendship. Even though you know it's wrong. Because that's these old traditions and what they're supposed to do. I was like, look at that. Yes. Yes, Krishna. I see it. Yes, Lord Krishna, they're just sticking, they, they think they're doing the right thing. They think they stick it, you know, oh, we got to follow our oaths and these traditions. They don't know no better, but they're on these wrong paths. They're on these wrong paths, and that's what this war is, cleansing these old traditions, right? I'm getting it. I am getting it. But still, I'm like, let's do more. Let's do more. <laughs> I want to do everybody. Tell me what you think you are. What do I think I am? I don't think I have... The, what is it? The, the Thomas. I mean, I guess I could be. But if something is bad, like if I know something ain't right, if it's hurtful, if it's unjust, I don't, I won't do it. <laughs> I'm like, I, so I don't think I have the Thomas. I mean, I can't even think of an instant when I know it's like, oh, this is so wrong. This is going to be terrible. This is going to hurt people. This is unjust. But I'm going to do it anyway. That's like evilness, right? I'm like, I don't think I have any of that. I definitely think I have some of the sattva. I mean, I think through stuff like, all right, think through. I, I, I'm probably like that. I probably has in the rahas. Like, I think I'm probably doing the right thing. In it. I mean, that's, I feel like a lot of people have that. You know, I feel like it's human nature. We don't have all the answers. We don't have all the answers. So we just kind of go with what we think is right. So what do y'all think you are? What do you think you are? I don't want to hear anybody <laughs> on my followers say your name Tamas. I'd be like, you're going to say you're evil. But d I, can you think of a good person though? Like good person, just a good heart that has some Tamas in them. I don't know. Like they would deliberately do something that's evil because of their own arrogance. Let me know. I want to hear some some uh, comments on this. We got to discuss this. I'm going to tell y'all how I've been watching these and making these videos. I'll watch like a part and then talk about it. That's what I'm doing. I'm watching like a big chunk and then talking about it. So when I was just talking about like the soul, I was like, oh, that's not it. We're going to get it. We haven't even gotten to the soul. That's just what makes up the humans. But we have not even gotten to the soul. Well, now we get to the soul. And, and Krishna is talking about this. Because our June has him. He's like, well, if we're just the bodies and, and you know, the, and, and follow the gods, does, is everything predestined? Like he's talking about fate and asking about the fate, right? The, like, is everything predestined? What are we actually doing here? What, are, what does it matter for punishment or, or justice and injustice? And, and, and remember Krishna, oh, Krishna is like, that's a brilliant question. I was like, oh, then we're getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. And that's when he uses the word. What is the word? Chet, 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 chetnya. Chetnya. He's like, the energy, our energy is Chetna. That's our soul. And he's like, our soul is like a fragment of God. Oh, did this touch me? I'm mean, made me tear up a little bit. To think, like, that's what our soul is. Our soul is a, a piece of God has given us each to have this soul and puts us in like these bodies. And I think every religion has this, right? They believe to, you know, we different Hindu, right? You believe like sometimes the soul comes back body after body. Some people think, you know, they all have a soul and they 
go their souls go up to like heaven and you live in like in the, in this heaven with the gods or whatever like we all we i think everybody believes in this having a soul and just to think that your soul is like a, a fragment of god oh how touching is that but it makes you think like the person next to you they're a piece of god also when they said god is within all of us it's and it's in our soul right oh boy i mean i over and over, I'm like, I can tell why people were like, I got to take these episodes one at a time. And even within the episodes, I am like rewinding and writing and trying to understand over and over like certain parts. And one of these was when we we're talking about the soul. When we're talking about the soul, because what was it? Like, I think Arjun was like, well, how do we get to know one soul? Like, how can we get to a closer understanding of the Krishna soul? Krishna kind of replies, he's like, knowing the soul, like you're, it's in a slumber. Like your body or your mind is kind of in the slumber. And you have to like awaken it to understand that you're a fragment of God. That you have like this, right? You know, and it's like, and when you awaken from that, that's when you get to know your soul. I'm like, okay, that makes sense. This is the part I was like, what? This is the part because he's like, and then what is it? He's like the first lesson in Brahma Vita is that you're born over and over again until like you get to know that soul and have a pure soul and do things for justice, like right, make all your decisions for just justice and, and have like a, a pure soul. That's when you're, that's the first lesson. You're going to keep being born until you reach that. I'm like, so not everybody is born over and over. Like, do some people reach that? That once they find this, you know, and and understand that their soul and get to know that and 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 understand, you know, their purpose and everything, and and actually act it, you know, right? When you come to Earth and actually act, you know, out these things, are you finally like not going to be born again? So many questions. Maybe it'll be answered to me because that's what usually happens. <laughs> that's like it's like our Lord. It's like they know we have these questions and, and he's here to answer. It's on the same sentence. He, what did he say? The Shakya Yoga is said if you're born, you're sure to die, and if you're sure to die, you're gonna be born again. So I'm like, well, we're gonna keep being born again until we reach that. But then on the same token, we're gonna keep being born again, and we're surely gonna die and be born again. So now is it saying like no human can reach? can reach you know that pure soul we're always going to be striving to reach it i got questions i got questions <laughs> i do they talk about the path to justice right and what did he say he was like when you take that path to justice you know taking the path to justice is knowing you have a soul and knowing that your soul is a fragment of god and doing everything based on that right so that's when he says, like, when a person feels pain, the person is a part of God. So everyone should feel the pain. Everyone. And I kind of feel like this. I'm like, I do this a lot. And and maybe, like, a lot of times I I look at it as it maybe a bad thing, you know, when I see someone in pain. Oh, I feel it. I'm like, I, I start to cry. And I'm like, I'm sorry. Or, you know, even when something gets to me and, I, and I'm feeling it, the emotions... And, and sometimes I apologize, I'm like, I'm sorry. I just, I cry when I see someone else crying. Like, I apologize, but maybe I shouldn't. Maybe, like, I shouldn't repress that. Maybe I should. It's it's to be closer, you know, it's understanding our, our path more, the path to justice. Ah. Oh, this is all so confusing. <laughs> this is all so confusing. But in the same, in the same you know, sentence, I can say it's confusing, but also enlightening. Like I get it, but then I don't. <laughs> you know what I mean? And they start talking about the injustice, right? And that's when I'm like, I feel like this is the first time I'm really knowing, you know, learning about, you know, these, these uh, lessons. But I feel like I've been following them all along, like a lot of times. I, you know, I believed in fate and things like that. But then when he's like, justice, injustice is ignorance. I was like, I felt like this all the time. How many times have I was like, I'm like, oh, I just, I'll tell my husband. I'm like, I just can't stand ignorance. And it's not that people that don't know, right? Just like Christian was saying, it's not that people that don't know right or wrong, but unwilling to, to learn what's right or wrong. 
You know, they're just closed minded. They're not willing to open up their minds and listen to things and learn things from others to form, you know, maybe their opinions or, or what they think is right or wrong. You know, that's ignorance. Not just not knowing it, but not wanting to learn. And I was like, I have been with this all along. <laughs> and I didn't even know it. In token, that's when Arjun was like, well, then what is the purpose of punishment? You know, if we're doing that, he's like, what is the purpose of punishment? And what did Krishna say? Punishment is compassion. Right? Punishment is like, I, like I say the kids, you know, when I, they get punished from doing what they're not supposed to do. I'm like, I'm not here to be your friend and always, you know, make you happy. I'm here to teach you what's, you know, lessons in life, things you need to know to go off in the world. And if you don't, you know, follow this, if you don't listen to me, I'll always listen, but you know, do what's right and what's expected, you're going to get punished. And I don't like when you're punished. Like it hurt. I hate to punish my kids. I hate to make them unhappy. It's it's one of the hardest things in the world. You know, I, I'll sometimes just cry and, and want to give in, but I'm like, well, what lessons is that giving them? I'm just going to tear up because it's like, these are things I've been, you know, knowing this whole time, but it's like, oh, I, I guess it, because I'm, I, it's hit me because I'm like, I, I feel like I kind of been on the right path, <laughs> you know, if I do this, but yeah, it's, it's compassion. You know, you have to, you have to teach these things to people, even though it's hard on you, the most person is hard on, right? They're going in this war, punishing these people. It ain't easy for them. They get, this must be the hard thing going to try, you know, fight against your family, your loved ones. But it's all in the name of like kind of punishment and compassion. Like they don't, they lack this knowledge and, and somebody is on the unjust, injustice path of ignorance and some are on the justice path and it just hit me, this episode, <laughs> this episode hit me because it's like, I feel like I've been following these things and knowing it. I feel like then it, it tells me I'm on the right path, but it's just enlightening me more to learn more about oh. all right y'all all right y'all we'll do the next one i'm just i i just feel just happy right now like joyous because i'm like oh. i'm gaining knowledge i'm gaining knowledge and knowledge is what, what is i'm already forgetting the terms knowledge is it's not the tamas it's the the rajas no Sadfa, it's the sadfa. I gotta get the terms right. All right, y'all. Let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, all that. Until next time. Mwah!